Hi, good evening chaps. Yeah, a different video from me yet again. Um, this evening we've got an FT991A in the house, which uh, is now the indoor rig. And the FT991A has uh, some nice features. Um, for instance, uh, it has medium wave. And of course it goes down. It goes down to about uh, 30 kilohertz. This peak is way down. Anyway, I thought I'd let you hear the noise that uh, I have to suffer in this QTH. So, long wave. That's for a uh, radio 4 transmission on 198 kilohertz. Right, we'll go up the band. Hear all the noise. The attenuator switched on and the antenna is coming from the, sh the shack. So we have a long wire, uh, sorry, an end fed half wave, uh, which is basically cut for 20, uh, 40, and uh, uh, 10, 20, 40, um, and 15 it also resonant on. So it's, it's, it's quite a reasonable antenna for a uh, normal AM radio. Uh, but I thought I'd let you hear all the noises we have here. This is quite interesting. You see all the spikes, all the wee spikes where all the noise are, uh, appears. On their album, The Road to Aids, and that was released last year with and friends. And, uh, a notch isn't actually on, on. A notch is off, everything's off, dynamic noise limit re reduction, so oh, well, <laughs> it can help it, but it can sound a bit weird. Doesn't like music though. And if you have it low, it sounds like a puddle. <laughs> anyway, I just I thought I'd show you that as an aside. Um, we'll go further up the band. And I have the attenuator on here. I can find it. Yeah, attenuator's on. We'll take the attenuator off. And I've also got the chance of putting a, a amplifiers on. <laughs> Yeah, my arm's getting sore holding this phone. <laughs> right, okay, we'll carry on. We'll just get rid of the menu. That's a local actually, the next one to it is 1026, is uh, downtown. In there, sorry. I actually notched that out of this quite well. Um, where are we? Oh, let's see. 
that's wide and that's narrow which makes a big difference notch I'll try and notch that out and we'll see uh, you get an idea of how well it works virtually gone there now there is another trick of course you can do uh, you can uh, go to I think it's lower sideband if I remember rightly no it must be upper sideband <laughs> There you go, up it, yeah, lower sideband. So you can notch it out, uh, even doing it by that way. Uh, where are we now? Menu. Notch is now off, of course. So I'll just show you that. Anyway, we'll go back up the band. Turn the notch off. It's not the worst tonight, mind you. It's, sometimes it's worse than this. Um, okay, so quick uh, run through the bands. Very quick, my run through. Uh, 1.8, 1933. The lads down south haven't started talking yet. <laughs> it's unusual. Um, 3.5. Somebody tuning up. Naughty, naughty. Yeah, you're five and nine plus thirty or so, sir, Marty. So sound and well as always. Missed you the last two weeks there, so um, you're uh, you're about tonight, which is great. So um, good to hear you, Marty, and uh, no doubt we'll hook up. Yeah, there we go. So I'll go to the so strong one. Oh. You there, I'll get you used to this radio, yeah. <laughs> yeah, very good. Fair bit of background noise though, as well. Well, we can't hear Kevin. No. Nope. Now, the time, of course, at the moment is, let me just check the time, it's uh, 22.15. So it's quite late on for uh, the high end bands, high frequency bands. Uh, let's go to. Let's go to 21, see if it's in. Oh. Ah, uh, it's quite quiet. There doesn't seem to be many peaks there. <coughs> and we'll finally look at uh, 10 metres. That's FT8 frequency and nothing. So the band's closed down for the night. Anyway, I'll give you an idea of actually um, the noise levels here. Uh, more for, for medium wave DXing or anything like that, it's it's not good. Um, the ideal, of course, would be to get a look back up <coughs> and use that uh, for medium wave. Very capable little radios, these... Uh, FT991As, I have to say, I've had a QSO into uh, uh, Australia using 45 watts um, just uh, uh, last week when the, the opening started um, and had some good success with the Wii Radio. I also have a, a Yezo FTDX10, which of course is uh, something else, but uh, this is uh, basically a shack in a box with uh, everything all the way from 1.8 all the way up to 70, uh, 70 cents. And of course a multi-mode, which is very useful. Anyway, there we go. Uh, I thought I'd let you see all this, this noise that we suffered here. Uh, as I say, it's not as bad as it usually is. Sometimes it's it's, it's really terrible. Um, but that was quite a severe amount of noise on a long wave uh, Radio 4. 
which looks like it might not have a great long life now. Uh, we're getting into that time where they, uh, I think they're talking about a shutdown possibly in 2024. Uh, but we don't know. We just have to wait and see. Okay, guys, thanks for looking. Take care. If you don't subscribe, uh, please subscribe and also press the notification bell uh, for any new videos. I've been a wee bit sparse recently, been rather busy and uh, health's beginning to give me a wee bit of issues, I'm afraid. Uh, caused me to be a wee bit slower than I normally would be at doing things. And uh, the vintage side of uh, this YouTube channel is uh, going to be less and less as I've... Uh, Giving up the vintage side of it, uh, more uh, concentrating more on amateur radio, which of course uh, doesn't require all the, the heavy lifting of big TVs onto the bench, etc. etc. Uh, so we are changing direction somewhat. Okay, take care, everyone. Nice to speak to you, uh, nice to see you uh, looking at the videos, and uh, thank you for the comments, and thank you also for, for coming in and having a look. So take care, everybody. Oh, just incidentally, uh, possibly could be doing some interesting things with scouting shortly, and we'll have some videos regarding that as well. And uh, that might uh, fill up some other gaps that uh, that uh, we've lost with the vintage radio side. Thanks, guys. Take care. Bye for now.